Right, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna open the main gas now, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. On this one. I'll just step back. Are you alright? Beautiful. How did now? That's open full. Yep. But it's down on pressure. Yep. I'm gonna take it back a bit, okay? Yeah, yeah. We're only. Are we on two? Uh, two would be great. The two is. Well, he's on. Not even on. There's about two there. Okay, well, less than two then. Go the back a bit. Yeah, that's good. There, I'm going to yep. leave him set. At Happy. That. Yep. Seconds, and I want to both run in like that. Then I know you're okay. Yep. I'm glad about this, Ange. Yep. I'm, recent. I'm just letting it out now. And he's lit. Good. Now, pressure-wise, yep. pr you open that one, yep. push that in, light the pilot. Yep. Ten and that, seconds. And this lever's got to be... Leave, you up. leave him, no, he's got, he's, he's off. That's in the off position. Yeah, but when I'm lighting... Oh, yeah. No. Yeah, when you're lighting, you only light the pilot. Oh, that's, sorry, yep, thanks. Pilot only. <laughs> there we go. There we go. <laughs> Start with the pilot, got it. Start again. I don't want to be at home doing the barbecue. Boom. Okay. Oh, she's lit the fire. <laughs> uh, sorry, it won't be like that. Remember this. When he's across like that, that's the main valve off. Yep. Everything's off at the moment. Yep. When you finish the, you know, with your pilot and you want the main burner on, which you're going to put him on first. Just open him up and that'll light. And you just leave it. You can open him full and go by pressure. Yep. And let him go. Yep. I just have it, have it low and just like let it this go. This one, when you're ready for the big yep. boost. How are we taking temperature? Uh, so I'm going to put a pyro in somewhere. Where do I no. might put it in one of these holes? Um, Remember there's holes there. As yeah, well. I might put it in. Yeah, if you can get one. Should just I put there. it in this end? Do you think, I or would. should I put it in well, that end? This because the flames go in there. It's got to come back. I might put it this end. Pretty cream. I'm hoping that the clay has changed colour significantly. It looks like. It looks like they're pretty good. We've still got cone upright there. But this one dead soft, that cone down there. So that's good. We've definitely got cone one. Uh, Wow, that's nice. That surface looks definitely mature. Happy with that. Feels different too. Definitely see the different atmosphere. I think it's probably going to be Slightly different between this shelf and the next one down. Looks a little cooler. So this looks like the hottest shelf in the middle. So anything that wasn't 
really matured I've put back into this firing. So this is mine. This has got a couple of cracks in the handle. As you do, they're mine. It's a very pale mug. Got some more colour on that side. Very clinker red on the bottom. That's nice. That's me. Picture wherever you are. Alright, this little bowl got some bit of dust dropped in it. That's okay. It feels very different to what it did before it went in. Definitely mature now. So it just needed that extra. I think we've probably got an extra 20 degrees. Thereabouts. Plus the di different atmosphere. Okay, so that's the middle cone. That definitely barely moved. And this is the far end. Boop. So it's definitely down, isn't it? Look at the difference in that. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Yep. That's good. I think the slip might have been a little bit thick on application as well. Look at that edge. <laughs> nice. That's got a very different clinkery look on the bottom. But the marbling is lovely. Now we just got to watch for the crazing. See if I've fixed that. But I think this looks good. You can tell when the clay changes colour that you've got the different atmosphere. It's very pink when they went in. Let's get rid of that. Yeah, it's a very different atmosphere up that bit. Up this corner near where this burner is. Pretty powerful on this side. Very different colour to the rest of them. That's nice. Thank you. Okay, so what is the bottom like? So there's a couple of big bowls down here. Looks alright. side of the shelf. Okay, that one out. It's definitely cooler up the chimney end. falling in there. It's a shame. Alright. Another little tiny crack up there. It's a shame. It's a lovely mug. Second. Well, that's the one with the, it's got a thumbprint in it as well. Right there. <laughs> Looks lovely. It's got that clinker red colour. Nice. I'm running out of oh, bit of room. All right, let's have a look at this mugalug, mugalug, lug, lug. Ooh, look at that atmosphere. There's a tiny crack in the shelf, which might have contributed. Lays looks all right. Still got pinholing. Nothing I can do about that now. Looks like 
little bit of bubbling that'll be atmosphere because it's right up this end where it got very hot mm. nice colors that's gonna be for me This probably is this one. <laughs> Got a bit of cleaning to do. Alright, so look at this. Atmosphere is good. Uh, there is a fracture there in the glaze. And we've still got that pin holding, which I think it just needs slower. So there's sometimes there's more organic stuff in the in this. It's a local clay body. And uh, a bit more rubbish in it, I think, sometimes. You can smell it. All right, that's that bottom corner. You can see the differences in atmosphere from bottom to top. And I, I would call that okay. So we're going to have to cut, these are clean ones. And they're only tiny cones, so they're not supposed to be that reliable, but I'm just using them as an indicator. Yeah, last one. Ooh, look at that. It's almost green, that's interesting. Feels good. Surface feels really nice. It's like it's got that maturity to it, you know, you can feel it when a glaze has got to where it needs to be. Alright, that's it. That is the lot. Looking very cream in this light. Well, they are. <laughs> Alright, so that crack was there when I started, so I packed up this end of the shelf to try and keep this as firm as possible because it was a little bit wobbly. We replaced this brick, if you remember in a previous video. Um, I cleaned this out on this side and replaced half of this um, bag wall. Bag wall, what do you call it? It's the bottom of the kiln, it's not a bag wall. We replaced the soak because that was um, just annihilated basically. And I did not change anything on this side. Brushed a bit of um, Chino on this end which will progress as the firings progress that should hold this end together nicely and we've added some extra spy holes so we've got air here here uh, down there over here and over here and the rest are all about controlling the atmosphere so there we go that is it good firing good good firing thanks Kev chat soon ciao